Good morning folks, today we're going to take a look and see how you can play Battleship using Google Drive. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is you need to go to drive.google.com and sign into your account. Once you're there, you should have something that looks like this. You may have totally different stuff in there and that's okay. Uh, first thing I need you to do is go to the Create button. From there, you're going to select Folder. It's going to give you a pop-up and we're going to name that folder ICT6. So name it ICT6 and hit Create. And it'll take a second, but you'll get a folder that pops up right there. Once you see that folder, click on it. From here, we need to create our spreadsheet. So go to create again, and we're gonna go to spreadsheet this time. And inside of here, we have our basic Google Drive uh, spreadsheet setup. So I want you to go to the spreadsheet name, and I want you to call it Battleship. And if you want, put an underscore in your last name, or better yet, let's do your last name, underscore, Battleship, and hit OK. From there, we're all well and good, uh, but we, Battleship uh, takes place in the water. We have ships going on, so we need to convert this stuff over to water. Uh, so first off, we're going to select and highlight. We're doing columns A through J and rows 1 through 10. That's what we're getting set up there. You need to go to the background color here, it's also called the fill color, and change it to a nice blue uh, for the water that we're looking at. So you can do cyan or this cornflower blue. I like cornflower blue better, I think that's a nice looking color. So I have it in there. That's the setup to our board. Uh, if you want to see the outline of everything more clearly, you can go up to the top here with everything highlighted, go to borders, and select all borders. And you'll be able to see everything a lot more clearly, uh, which is nice. From this point, you need to make another sheet and do the same thing. So I'm gonna, at this point, I can do one of two things. I can right click on sheet one at the bottom and hit duplicate and it will make an exact copy, which is awesome because it does everything I need to do. The other option you have is going to the plus button and add a new sheet. In this example, I'm just gonna go to duplicate. So I have sheet one and I have copy of sheet one. I'm gonna rename sheet one here and I'm going to call it mine and then I'm going to go to sheet two and rename it opponent so I have them set, taken care of um, and we need to be able to track everything that we're doing in here so I'm going to set up mine and mine I'm going to have a couple of options uh, on your screen you'll see exactly what you need to have you need to have one aircraft carrier, which is five spaces. You need to have one battleship, which is four spaces. You need to have one cruiser, which is three spaces. One submarine, which is three spaces. And one destroyer, which is two spaces. Now, what I mean by spaces are that each space is going to be a cell. Uh, so if you have a battleship, it's four spaces. I'm going to turn a couple of these. I have four in a row. I'm going to change the background color to... I don't know, let's say a black. And now that's where my battleship is. I'm also gonna go through and continue doing this. So I'm gonna fill in everything I need. So there's my destroyer. Maybe I wanna put a submarine down here. And you get to choose where these go. The only rule is that you cannot go diagonal. They have to be either in a straight row or a straight column. Um, so I, let's say one, two, three, four, five. I'll get my aircraft carrier in there. And I need my submarine still, so let's put that right there. So I should have five ships and I'm ready to go. Now what's going to happen is my opponent's going to take a guess. Let's say they guess A1. Hey, looks like A1 is one of my ships. So if they say that, I say hit. And I should change the background color to a red. Because that lets them let me know that my ship is being hit. Um, and I'm taking some damage. If they say... B1, well, that's nothing. You can either change the color or you could just leave it blank. I like changing it to white just so I know that where they've guessed, it gives me some idea of what they're thinking. Um, and you're just going to keep going back and forth, one turn to one turn. When it's your turn to make a guess, you're going to go over to the opponent one. You have no idea where their ships are, but you're going to make guesses. So let's say I say C2 and it's a miss. I'm going to change it to white because I missed that shot. I don't want to guess there again. So it's my turn again. Let's say F8. I'll click on it, and I'm turning it red because it's a hit. They told me it's a hit, and now I know what it is. So I know the ship's either above, below, left, or right. 
It cannot be on diagonals. And I'm going to keep guessing until they say I've sunk one of those ships. Your goal is to sink all of your opponent's ships before your opponent sinks all of your ships. If you're quick to the draw and win quickly, you can play me. And we'll, we'll continue going through this and seeing what all we have. Uh, but please make sure you're following through these instructions. If there's any problems that you have, just pause and rewind where you had problems and get everything set up. Uh, we'll talk about how you turn this in and all that kind of stuff a little later. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's get to it. Thanks a lot.